everyone welcome back i hope you're doing well i'm doing spectacular the project i was working on at work went live today we've been working on it for over a year it feels great to have that off my plate should have a little bit more time got my hands on some select and first and foremost i gotta admit i was wrong well i guess i can't say i was wrong but i can i'm completely willing to do that i had read that select was going to be hobby only this year on card lines a couple other sites they did mention that and how you know don't expect to be able to go into the store and get a blaster box this year but regardless i got my hands on five of the select nba hanger packs and i'm super excited to open these i'm not going to list everything in them but i will try to put it up on the screen the font is incredibly small on the back of this so i'm going to probably have to convert it over with some ai to raw text and put that up there but the things that i go through for you guys there's a lot of great stuff that you can pull from these these usually sell for around 18.99 i think that's the msrp i've seen them sell as high as 29.99 these are like an impossible find um there are boxes I, I found that more often than not you can buy boxes relatively easily although they're way overpriced if you buy resale so i don't recommend doing that but i was able to get these at the 18.99 price from a good friend and i'm here to rip them select is a 300 card base set which is a lot of cards and they kind of trick you with that because there's ultimately there's three levels of base in select there's the concourse which is like the base base and then premier level which is like the mid base i guess and then courtside, which is like the base that everybody wants. And they're relatively kind of hard to hit. I've, I've got a bunch of them, but only because I've opened a ton of select. But I would say you might get a, a courtside, maybe one of every three packs, maybe one of every... I mean, you don't get them very often, and it's usually not a top rookie either. The base design this year is the blue again, which I'm kind of over that. I think a lot of people are kind of over that. And... The hobby is the silver kind of colors, the base design. I think it's definitely a lot cleaner. You can get a ton of different prisms out of here and I won't list everything, but you can get the silver, the blue, the green, white, purple, the teal, white, and pink. There's also black, white, and gold, black, and then gold. And all of those are numbered from 49 down to one. So you can get one of ones out of this. Wow. And then there's also the super ultra rare, tiger elephant and then there's the exclusive shimmers the blue there's a lot more that i didn't even mention that you can get so tons of different types of, of cards in this which i think is great and at the 18.99 price range it's a few dollars less than the prism hangers which i think are overpriced so i think that these probably should be a little bit lower but we're going to save that for the end for the review and we're going to get ripping so no need to cut today i kind of like cutting but hey you know it's always just fun slicing open a fresh box. But the hangers can be fun. Should be a relatively quick rip. We're definitely looking for an animal print. I ripped a ton of select last year. And by the way, we're at like 145 subs right now. So we're going to be doing the giveaway real soon. And I'm super excited to do that. And out of all of the hangers that I bought of select, I bought a ton. I bought a couple lots. The second lot that I bought was 12 boxes. And I actually ripped 10 of them and I recorded the video and haven't edited it yet because they were so bad. So there's two left out of that lot and those are the two that I'm giving away. So I'm hoping that the, the people that get those get something good because I sure didn't. But here we go. We got Jalen Suggs, a nice, I do like Select. I think it, I in my, I guess my order would be like Prism Select Optic. Some people don't like Select, I like it. I think it's like a, a more elegant kind of look. It's kind of like how I view it. We got CP3. Alex Caruso. I'm already messing up my piles. Jalen Brown. Gary Trent Jr. Joker. AD. Zion. I like this design. What do you guys think of this? the design this year? It's clean. I like it. It definitely seems to fit like the football kind of aesthetic more for some reason i don't know maybe it's just psychosomatic because i i feel like this is almost like the shape of a football maybe that's what i'm thinking i don't know but it's i definitely like it luca nice all right so these are the concourse level by the way um if you look on the back at the bottom it says concourse so then these ones here these are the premier level so these are like kind of like the next up oh we got a nice silver coming up here um, and I'll show you as soon as I reveal it. Kai Jones, that's not bad. Nice silver rookie. So this one at the top, it says premier level. I don't know why they put it down there for some, it's, it's weird. It's Panini is what it is. 
Um, but the patent printer, that's the premier level. Move these over a little bit. That silver is clean. Wow. That is nice. Definitely like that. We got a Hakeem Olajuwon. Select company. That's a nice card. It's cool looking. Ooh, whoa, that's a big hit. Oh my goodness. Wow, we got the Kai Jones and the Evan. Wow, my luck has turned around with Select. Wowzers, that's amazing. Look at that. Wow. wow. And then Karis Levert. Wow, that, that Evan Mobley is sick. That's a good hit. I feel like I've been, I deserve that hit. I've been ripping a lot of optic and I've been not getting anything. And it does feel good to get a, a nice hit again. Very cool. I had to sleeve that one. I haven't been sleeving very many lately. Look at that. That is sick. And I'm going to sleeve that Kai Jones because that's a nice one. And same pack. That was a good pack. Maybe this is a good, good sign of this box that these came out of. Wow. And we still got four packs left. Not bad. It's a good start. Hopefully there's some more hits in these. And we can have a good video on our hand. Boy, this pack. Oh, there we go. And these are a little rough. Clearly the problem's me with the opening of the packs. Buddy healed. I'm gonna move the base off screen. There we go. Cat. Primo. Nice. Trey Young, not bad. Donovan Mitchell, the man of the hour. Keon Johnson. Jimmy Buckets. Isaiah Jackson. Kuz. Kind of going to go through the basic pick a little bit here. I don't think you guys will mind. Darius Garland. Premier level Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Nice. Jordan Clarkson, that's a blue hollow, like a blue prism, not the shimmer. Um, so it's like if the card didn't have a blue border, you'd call it a silver, but then there is also silver. <laughs> that's the thing about select, confusing select retails. There's also this, so this is like a true silver. That's pretty cool, Jordan Clarkson. We got a Kawhi numbers. Bradley Beal blue. Harden blue. Okay. So, here, just in case you guys wanted to really look at that. The blue shimmer is sharp. I do like blue shimmer. So that pack wasn't as good, clearly. Um, but I really like Mobley. I feel like Mobley's got, he's got a bright future. He's a solid dude. I really, really like watching the Cavs squad right now. It's killing it. Donovan Mitchell and Mobley and congrats to those guys putting that team together. Seth Curry, Chris Duarte. Kai Jones, Usman Garuba, getting a lot of that guy. PG, Colin Sexton, Jonathan Kaminga, nice one. Jaden Springer, would like to get. A, I like Kaminga. He's a great player. Be nice to get him in a blue something. Deontay Murray. Ooh, look at that. Ja Morant Premier level. That's sharp. I'm gonna put that in my hit pile. Oh yeah. And so Select has these too, which is, I had realized after the fact why people don't really like these and it's because they're in like everything this year. They're way overprinted. I do believe though that they each have different players. So you'll have to, somebody can correct me on that one. But Bill Russell, that's cool. Okay, we got another Silver Darius Garland. Okay. We need another rookie hit. Devin Booker numbers. Marcus Smart. And Rudy Gobert, premier level. Not bad, but yeah. That first pack was still, so far it's kind of going, eh. The, the line is trending downward. Two packs left though. I do really like these. Uh, it's, it feels good to rip something other than optic, I think too. Um, it does kind of get old looking at the, the same old stuff. Um, these are nice. I do like these. Bojan Bogdanovic. Vucevic. KD. Joe Harris. 
Victor Oladipo, Quentin Grimes, Corey Kispert. The one thing about Select is they kind of overprint the rookies. You get a lot of rookies, as opposed to something like Elite, where I think you only get like two per hobby box, like two rookies. Jordan Clarkson, about that. Jay Sean Tate. And they're all numbered in Elite to, to 999, I believe, which is kind of cool. Derek Rose, so it kind of removes the complete overprinting of rookies that a lot of these products have. D'Angelo Russell, Premier Level. Okay, we got another, a blue hollow or blue silver, Jay Sean Tate. Okay, not great. Not great on the Tate. Sengun, Rookie Revolution. This is a weird design this year. It almost looks like it's like a misprint. Um, in a way, I could see it being sick in a hollow, though. Like a silver hollow would, would look fabulous. Which, by the way, Select does refer to them as silver on the pack. Um, just so you, in case anybody was wondering. Desmond Bain. Nice, nice looking. And then a Mike Conley. That's a court side shimmer. That's a, that's a good card. Where did I put the Jay Sean T in there? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, because is it silver? Yeah, it is. That's why I put that there. Um, that, that Mike Conley courtside of the Shimmer is nice. The courtside design is sick. And to get a parallel, I think, is relatively rare-ish. I don't know about the Mike Conley, but still. Not terrible. We got one pack left. Um, I'm going to have a select H2 rip coming, which I'm incredibly nervous about because I don't really hit well with those kind of mid-tier products, apparently. Um... But I'm looking forward to that. I, I feel like I'm I'm due to get a nice hit out of that. And then I've also got I, I got a whole box of optic cellos that I'm gonna rip over some lives and maybe just here and there. I'm, I think I'm gonna do a a, uh, a second cello pack video because my first one the cards were like way down here. So it's just things that I'm learning thanks to you guys to improve. So maybe I'll do another video of the optic cello packs. Ja Morant, Marcus Smart. Bradley Beal, James Harden, oh, that's a nice Mobley base, so we got two Mobleys, let's hope, hope for something good out of this last pack here, Desmond Bain, Cam Thomas, JT Thor, Giannis, Moses Brown, Premier Level, ooh, okay, an AD Silver, or Blue Hollow, I guess. Zion, Numbers. Getting towards Shimmers here. Christian Wood. And Sengun. Not bad. Not bad. A little rough. What would have really made this great is if I got a, a Cade or a Jalen Green and the Mobley. That would be sick. But a Sengun is not bad with the Mobley. I'll take it. Out of five packs, not terrible. I've definitely had worse. I'm definitely ha completely happy with the Mobley. I think that is a sick card. And the Sengun and Mike Conley courtside, not bad. Not bad. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. Um, and let me know if you think I should get a box and rip a whole box for you guys. Well, time for the recap and review. Starting with the veterans inserts and parallels. We got AD, Blue Hollow. Jay Sean Tate, Blue Hollow. Desmond Bain, Blue Shimmer. Marcus Smart, Blue Shimmer. We got the Rudy Gobert, Premier Level, Blue Shimmer. Darius Garland, that's a true silver. Nice. We got the Bill Russell, 75 years of the NBA. We got that John Morant base premier level. I really like that card. I think that design is really clean. I like that. What do you guys think of the base design for premier and fourth side this year? Bradley Beal, blue shimmer. James Harden, blue shimmer. Jordan Clarkson, blue hollow or blue silver. <laughs> that makes sense. Jordan Clarkson. And we got a Karis Levert, blue shimmer, premier level. Sharp looking cards. And then we got the Rudy Gobert 
courtside blue shimmer. That's a nice looking card. I think that looks sick. I like select. It's growing on. It's grown on me a lot over time, and I, I think it might be, it might be uh, inching its way close to the very top for me, honestly. For the rookies, base inserts and parallels. We've got JT Thor. That's just a base concourse. Cam Thomas, just a base concourse. Evan Mobley, base concourse. Joe Wisecamp, concourse. Corey Kispert, I think you get the idea. Quentin Grimes. Jaden Springer. Nice Kaminga. Usman Garuba. Kai Jones. Duarte. We got a premier level Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Keon Johnson. Primo. Like that. And a Jalen Suggs. Okay. And then we did get that silver Kai Jones. I really like that. Pure silver premier level Kai Jones. I, I dig it. Hopefully he's, he does big things. I, I dig that card a lot. And then we did get the Sengun Blue Shimmer, a fabulous card, really, really sick looking. I dig it, what do you guys think? And then the hit of the rip here was definitely the Mobley Blue Shimmer. Sick, look at that, bam. Love it, dig it, I'll take it. For the review. So these are, like I had mentioned, $18.99 retail price, roughly, but I've seen them as close to $30. I will not recommend that anybody buys these for more. Honestly, I don't want you to spend any more than the, the retail price, and I don't think anybody should, but absolutely do not spend any more than like $23. If you can get some, somebody's like, hey, $22.99 or something, and you really want to get them, you know, I can understand that. I feel like they're, they're being reasonable and they're not just trying to go out and buy all the product to flip it. But at the $18.99, price for everything that you can get you know you you get 15 cards a couple rookies a couple parallels usually a silver and a blue shimmer sometimes you get two blue shimmers and a silver but you're gonna get something out of a pack maybe it won't be rookies and top players in the parallel form but you're gonna get some something decent right and the amount of different parallels you can get spectacular tons there's so many i can't even name them all but what i don't like is the base 300 card set i don't like the three different levels personally I think even just two would be okay, but three is a little bit, it's ridiculous um, to have that many base cards. You know, the designs aren't that much different. I really like the court side and the uh, premier level. Um, so even if they just did those two, it'd be great. But what I recommend them, for me, I love it. I love the design, and I think that that's really what it's going to come down to a lot of the time for people is like, do you like the design? And I found that it seems to be somewhat polarizing. I think definitely more people like it than not, but the people that don't like it just don't like it. But I would recommend this. Um, and the only stipulation that I would apply is pay retail and don't pay any higher. Um, I don't know where you can get these. Honestly, in retail stores, I haven't seen them where I live yet. I do know that they are in certain places. I've talked to some people in Texas that have gotten some. I got a guy in Michigan that got some. We went in on a box together with a couple other people, and that's how I got mine. So I know where the box came from. And obviously, I got the Mobley, and that's a great card. But even if you don't get good cards, like the the, the truth is, like you're not, you're more often than not not going to get hits. I love the rip. I had a lot of fun. I don't think I made my money back, but to me, that Mobley's sick, the Sengun's sick, the Conley uh, courtside sick. Got that silver. I got the value out of it from what I put in because I had a ton of fun, and you can't put a price on fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are almost at the 150. We're at like 145 subscribers. Cannot wait to do a giveaway. I'm going to be advertising a live that's gonna come up where I'm gonna announce the winners of the giveaway. And I'm gonna probably rip some packs live and maybe I'll do another impromptu giveaway for singles. So you'll have to be there. See who wins. Hopefully you guys are all in on it to get a box of select of last year. Maybe you'll get a Mellow or an Edwards. I hope that whoever gets them pulls something huge out of those because you guys have given me a lot. It just blows my mind that even 150 people wanna see what I have to say. And like when I create videos, it's like you're you're putting your own kind of art into it. It is an art and I'm trying to make things interesting for you guys and keep it entertaining even if the cards aren't good. And the fact that any of you wanna watch means a lot to me. So I appreciate that. 
So stay tuned. We got a lot of cool rips coming and have a good holiday. Peace.